Hi guys, how are you? I went to a Lebanese supermarket. I love going there because I find things that we don't always find in London. So I bought not many things, just a couple of things. I thought I want to show you and talk about them and the specific terms we use for that. So basically it's a supermarket that a supermarket that also has a, like, a, you know, it's also a butcher at the same time. So I bought meat. I know for some of you who are vegetarians or vegans, this is not something you would be happy to see, but you know, it's what we eat and what we do in our culture, mainly in Lebanon. So I want to tell you what we call these meats and how when, you're, uh, when you go to that butcher, you can ask for a specific way of mincing the meat and uh, doing it or preparing it for you, okay? So here we have minced meat, simply, right? But when you go to the butcher, there are different ways he will mince it for you. So for example, if firstly, if you tell him but the lahme, uh, lahme by the way means meat, lahme, I will write them now uh, in the description box. So lahme means meat. When you say lahme habra, it means red meat. It doesn't have a lot of fat, okay? Lahme habra means red meat. Now, if you want it minced, you can say lahme habra Mafrume, that's what I told him, habra. I don't want it to be fatty as if like the way I eat is very healthy recently. But you know, it's better to have it with less fat. So I told him, badde lahme habra mafrume. Mafrume means minced, but that's not where you stop. Because there are different ways of having it minced, as I said. So if you tell him mafrume, anna'im, we write it al on the na'im, literally means soft. But you were saying to him, I want it to be minced well, like, uh, what do you say in English? Uh, something ground? Oh, my friend just told me I forgot. Like, well, well minced, basically. That's mafrume عن Because, you know, the, the meat becomes soft as if. That's why it means, like, very well minced meat. Mafrume عن That's how you pronounce it. So next time you go to a butcher, you can tell him. If you want it, like, well minced, you can say عمول معروف عمول معروف means please. عمول معروف بدي لحمة مفرومة عالناعم or لحمة هبرة مفرومة عالناعم you can of course specify for example I bought half a kilo I said بدي نص كيلو when he asked me أدي بديك أدي بديك أدي how much بديك you want if you, he, he's asking a guy he will say أدي بدك so he told me أدي بديك I told him نص كيلو half a kilo نص كيلو so هيدي لحمة هبرة مفرومة عن ناعم نص كيلو That's my minced meat If you don't want it to be very well minced You just want it just minced You can say مفرومة عل خشن عل خشن خشن means uh, not soft The opposite of soft Like this one You see the pieces of salt here It's not ناعم It's not well minced It's uh, Oh my God, I'm losing my words in English. Okay, it's the opposite of soft, okay? Khishin. I'm going to find it and I'm going to write it in the description box. So in that case, he will maybe just put it in the machine once, okay? And that's it. When you tell him mafrume an ni'am, maybe there is a specific setting in the machine he puts and that will be mafrume an ni'am. I just asked my mom, she also told me something else. <laughs> you see the details Lebanese women go into. Uh, she said that, you can also go to the butcher and uh, ask for lahme habra or just lahme if you want it with normal uh, fats. Lahme habra mafrume al khishin martin. Martin means twice. She said to me, if I say mafrume al khishin martin, it means you're putting it in the machine, which is not the soft one, the, the thicker one, and twice, so it wouldn't be as soft as when you ask him mafrume an naim so you have th three options mafrume an naim very well minced mafrume al khishin like just you know big uh, thicker basically and mafrume al khishin martin so naim and khishin are opposites naim is soft it can be my hands idayya my hands idayya naimin in the plural so naim in the singular naime in the plural, uh, in the feminine, and ni'amin in the plural. So, idayye, my hands, idayye, my hands, ni'amin, are soft. Or, idayye, 
خشنين خشنين in that case it means dry إذا ي خشنين خشن is uh, the opposite of soft it can mean dry and it can mean like a thicker uh, and نعم means soft I should have checked what's the meaning of khishan uh, in English before doing this video, but, but I'll check it and I'll show you. So uh, what I usually do, I like to put it, uh, before I put it in the freezer, I like to put it uh, to make like meatballs so that when later on I want to cook it, it would be easier. So I like to put peppers in it and uh, uh, change it into meatballs and then put it in the freezer. Actually, I can tell you this now, how we say these in Arabic. I bought something else, okay, <laughs> maybe a bit weird to eat, but again, we eat stuff like that in Lebanon. Hopefully, maybe one day I become better and I don't hurt animals and I eat less of these things. But anyways, this is chicken liver, but also it has chicken hearts. We mix them and we eat them, <laughs> okay, I know this is savage, but... It's a habit and a cultural thing that is a bit difficult to overcome, okay? But I love it's very tasty. It's really, really tasty. If you taste it, we cook it with coriander and uh, and uh, garlic and you know we s and lots of seasonings. So uh, chicken liver in Arabic in Arabic is asbit jij. Alone the word is asbe, but together it's asbit. Jej. Asbit jej. You see, I'm pronouncing it not asbit and then pausing and jej. No, I'm saying asbit jej. You see, asbit jej. So, hey, the asbit jej. Hey, dool, these in the plural. So, I used hey, de asbit jej because asbit is a feminine word. So, that's why I used hey, de, not hey, da. Hey, da is for masculine. Hey, de for man, feminine. Hey, dool is for plural. Hey, dool. Lub. Lub is hearts. In the singular is heart, elb. In the plural is hearts. Haydol lub. When I was now um, at the butchers, uh, he told me lubet. I wasn't sure if this is a correct way of saying it or it's a common mistake. We all say lubet instead of lub. Uh, because when we say lubet, it usually means mixed nuts and kernels and all of that, that's lubet. So maybe he could have said just lub instead of lubet because the plural of heart is hearts. In Arabic is elb, lub. We don't say lubet. It's like you're doubling the plural of that in, in that case. So haydole lub. And by the way, we were speaking about the butcher. I never told you what's a butcher. We say lahham, lahham. It comes from the word lahme. Lahme is meat. Lahham, kind of like you're saying the meter which means butcher, okay? Lahme, meat, laham, butcher. And uh, actually, before I go, I just wanted to tell you what I call the process of changing these into, uh, into uh, meatballs. I'm gonna open it. So Anna, let me tell you the sentence. I like to change them into meatballs before I put it in the freezer. So Anna, pib, I like or I love. Anna, pib. The process of changing something into balls like that, we, we say, uh, the verb is ka'zil, ka'zal bi ka'zil, okay? Ana bhib ka'zilun, I like to kind of ball them, okay? Ka'zilun. Actually, one second, I have something from Lebanon here. This is yogurt, okay? It's uh, also... You see, it's a bit frozen because I shouldn't put it in the freezer, but I did. It's me. It's like yogurt balls. That's why this one we call it. This is not the bottle of it, by the way. My mom filled it up. This used to be mayonnaise, but she filled it up with yogurt. So, uh, what was I saying? So this thing is called labne. Labne is yogurt, the the thick yogurt, because laban is the normal yogurt, not the thick one. This one we can do sandwiches with it. Okay, the laban, you can't do sandwiches with it. You eat it with a spoon. This one is labne with a temar buta. So basically, this one is labne mkazle. You see, it comes from the verb kazal bi kazal to change something into balls. And the actual bold <laughs> yogurt is called labne mkazle. I used it in the feminine because mkazal 
is masculine mkazli is feminine almost like it means also curled curled as well okay so hey they love them kazli let me put it back in the bag so hella uh, I was saying أنا بحب كعزل اللحمة I like to curl or I like to change it into a bowl أنا بحب كعزل اللحمة the, the meat قبل ما before قبل ما حطن أو حطة actually because it's a feminine word قبل ما حطة but I can also say حطن because I would change them into more than one pieces you see what I mean because حط is I put حتى I put her or it because we don't have it in Arabic or حتى put them so أنا بحب كعزل اللحمة put change it into bowls قبل ما حتى or حتى put them بالفريزر in the freezer بال means in the b plus l plus freezer بالفريزر قبل ما حتى بالفريزر because when they become uh, um, frozen it's difficult then to change it so I like to change it before I put it so كمان uh, also كمان بحب حطلهم put for them you see when I said put them I said حطن or حطة but I want to say put for them which means add for them we say put for them in Arabic I'm not going to say حطن I would say حطلهم because the لون means for them so بحب حطلهم or if it's just lahme, I can say pep hatilla baharat baharat bahar is seasoning or pepper as well it can be baharat like different kinds of peppers like here look I have this is this is where I got it from Green Valley it's a very nice Lebanese supermarket in London um, here I have har ahmar Naim. I hope you can see in the right order here and it's not the other way around on my phone. In any case, I'm gonna write it. You see here it says Naim because you see the pepper is like a, a ground, grounded? I'm not sure how you say it. Uh, in a soft way. It's not thick, it's soft. So Har Ahmar Naim means uh, chili. Ahmar uh, Har means chili, Ahmar means red, and Naim means soft. حر أحمر ناعم. Here we have cumin. We just say كمون. It's written here. كمون. كمون. مطحون means also ground. مطحون. كمون مطحون. I'm gonna write it down if it's not clear as well. And here we have something very common. My mom likes to use it as well. I think it's the one. Let me double check. If it's سبع بهارات. Yes. Look. Actually, I can do a video of just the spices. I can go to the supermarket and show you. Okay, so this one is, you see it's written here, Saba Bharat. It says seven mixed spices. Saba is seven. Bharat, Bhar is the singular uh, form. Bharat is the plural. Saba Bharat, seven spices. Okay, uh, seven mixed spices. So, we have here, Saba Bharat, Anna. Kamun, you can also say Kamun Mathun, but nobody says it. Just say Kamun. And here, Anna Har Ahmar Naim, red uh, pepper, uh, soft red pepper. And this one is Milah. Milah is salt. Milah Khishin. This one is Khishin. It's not uh, soft, it's uh, the thick one. Milah Khishin. Okay. Bukhlutun, I mix them. Bukhlutun, I mix them. Bukhlut is I mix. Bukhlutun is I mix them. Bukhlutun, bkazilun, I curl them or I change them into balls. Ubhatun bil freezer. I put them in the freezer. Bhatun bil freezer. That's it for today. I'm going to start doing that. Uh, but I thought before I begin, I can just quickly do this lesson and send it to you. Lots of love. Bye.